Okay. Lou Depot with part two of that gas class here and running the proper size pipe. But I have a perfect example. This is actually my neighbor's house. They asked me to do a gas line to the pool heater and a fire pit, which is a gas, natural gas fired fire pit, which they're going to put in their backyard. Now, the pool heater was 400,000 BTUs. And the fire pit was only 100,000 BTUs. And the fire pit's around pit was somewhere in the backyard, about right there. So the distance from the gas meter to the pool heater is exactly 100 feet. So what I had to do was look at the gas meter, look at the pool heater, get the distance of the 100 foot, and find out what size pipe would get me at least 100,000 or 400,000 BTUs. That was the first thing. Plus have enough to jump over later. And I'll use a different color so you can see. To add a second gas line over later to the fire pit. Which is 100,000 BTUs. So I went to the chart. And I'll try to point this out to you. This way you can get a real good explanation. I hope you can see this. I highlighted it for you. I went down and found 100 feet. Here's the length in pipe. Let me see if I can get that a little closer for you. I went down and I found 100 feet. I went all the way over and I found 480,000 BTUs if I run inch and a half. Boy, I hope you could see that. Inch and a half will give me 480,000 BTUs at 100 feet. Well, that was okay for the pool heater. The problem is, if I ran the inch and a half, the pool heater was fine. But once you steal and you go another 100 foot for the fire pit, well, it gives me 480, that's 400,000. If you do the math, I only have 80,000 left. I don't know if I can go another 100 foot and supply 100,000 BTUs when I only have 80, it would be impossible. So the inch and a half was going to be too small. It just didn't cut it. It wasn't enough. So as you look at the chart, Going down the, for the length of pipe, there's a hundred foot. Going over an inch and a half gave me 480. The next size pipe in diameter is two inch. And that was my only next option. And going down to there gave you 800,000 BTUs. I'm going to see if you can see that. But anyway, I, I know it's hard to see, but you can download this chart. Two inch pipe gives you 800,000 BTUs at 100 foot. Inch and a half pipe was just a little short at 480,000 because I needed 100 grand for the fire pit. So I have a minimum of 500,000 BTUs here between the heater and the fire pit. So. 400 inch and a half just would not do it. So I ran two inch pipe. And then I broke it down to one inch go, going down to the fire pit because that was small. It was a short run and it was only 100,000 BTUs. So that could be broken down to one inch. But that supplied me with 800,000 BTUs, way more than enough for the pool heat of the fire pit. Inch and a half was just a little too short. The neck size up is two inch. There is no inch and three quarter. So that's basically how you do the math for that and that chart. I hope you could see that chart. If you can't see it, you, you can download it, um, National Grid or own baby, and now where you are, any um, 
gas company in your area dot com and, and uh, get the pipe chart. But that was it. That chart, without the chart, I wouldn't have known. But with the chart, it was very easy. I did the math. I ran two inch, ran one inch to the fire pit, just got the inspection today from the inspector and it passed. And that was it. So hopefully that'll help you when determining how to run gas pipe, or gas pipe and what size.